to this practice prepper, I wanted to add just a quick little addendum to the um, you know burning wood in your fireplace video uh, that I did the other day. Uh, up until just recently, I was using a lot of this stuff, just uh, trees, uh, limbs, and things that I cut around my place. None of it was split. It was all smaller stuff, so I didn't need to split it. Um, but I just recently got into uh, some of my split wood in the back of the uh, woodshed. And this is something that I've picked up that's really helpful. Um, when you need to uh, have kindling to start your fires with, uh, you can get small sticks and things like that, or you know whatever you happen to do, scrap wood. But whenever you have split wood and it's nice and dry, you can always pull all these little pieces off of it. And I, then I take them and I put them underneath the fire to dry. And I just kind of go along the edge before I throw anything into the... Uh, into the firebox and see if there's anything dangling. And that is usually enough for me to just, oh, oh, it's like butter. It's no effort at all in that one. <laughs> um, there's usually enough of this stuff that I have a constant resupply of, uh, of kindling just by kind of fiddling around on the edges of these things and pulling stuff off. Now, I would obviously recommend wearing gloves and if, uh, if not an, an entire welder's mask, at least goggles when you do this, because this is incredibly hazardous. So I would, uh, you know, maybe even a suit of armor if, if you're going to, you know, take your, serious, uh, take your safety seriously. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It's just, it's a great little supply of tiny little kindling, and you just put it under there, let it dry, and then uh, it's ready for you for next time. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.